Yes, sir. Hi. IBM has recently asked this question in the second round of interview. Can you explain? Okay. Most of the developers will think that it will throw an error or it will return val into the console. But no, both of these are wrong. The output will be undefined here. This is very important, not only in terms of interview, but in the real time use cases as well. So try to understand this very carefully. So what are the primitive data types in JavaScript? That is either string or number or boolean, right? So these primitive data types does not hold any properties. So it does not have any properties. So it should throw an error, but it why it's not throwing an error because in the second line when you are trying to add the property data to this particular string or any primitive data type, then JavaScript will internally create a temporary object and it will store this particular property in this temporary object. Now you will ask me a question. Then if it is storing it in a temporary object, it should return the particular val into the console. But no, because once it is executed successfully, this particular temporary object will be destroyed. In the last line, when you are trying to access this particular property from this primitive data type, it will create another temporary object. So in this temporary object, it does not have any property called data. Due to this, it will return undefined to the console. Hey Sai, where can I learn all these practical interview questions and answers? You can get all these interview questions from the link in my bio.